Greetings, I'm Craze Nally, and welcome to the Banner Saga. I'm a little late on the gun with this one. I'm a little late to start with playing this game, but it caught my attention because it blended... When people were talking about it, they were talking about how it blended two different genres. That it pretty much was almost like an XCOM turn-based RTS kind of idea. But also, well, turn-based. It can't be an RTS if it's turn-based, so... Turn-based RTS, duh! And as bits of adventure games in it. Like, you click on new game, and I haven't looked at anything story-wise, but I did it just to test the weird resolution. This game does not have resolution options, by the way. You will have to learn how to do it with your launch options on Steam. FYI. But anyway, I had to be sure that it worked under that, and it already warned me, it was like, the choices you, the story in the Banner Saga changes based on the choices you make. You will occasionally switch between lead characters, witnessing the story unfold from different perspectives. Well, that's a cheery thought. The, the gods are dead. In their wake, man and giant survive through a tenuous alliance, driving black destroyers called Dredge deep into the northern wastes. Now is the era of growth and trade. Life goes on. Only one thing has stopped. The sun. Well, that doesn't sound good. We need that, sun. It has been several long months on the road. The first signs of snowfall accost us on our approach to Strand, largest of the trade cities on the Val human borders, and our last collection before returning to the capital. Very, very Viking. Several days ago, the sun simply came to a stop in the sky. Though during these long winter days, none of us can be certain how long it has been this way. Some of the men in the caravan have taken it as a dire omen. I am not quick to superstition, but I myself will be glad to be done with this year's rounds. Hmm. We have been warned by stranded travelers about brigands on the path through Ridgehorn, our road home. Our captain seems unconcerned. Perhaps he is as eager as I to be done here. We will rest here this day and inquire further when we speak to the governor. Interesting how we've had no close-ups, nothing. It's just been this real expense okay now we go because i heard this had like almost rotoscoped traditional animation oh you have actual horns um you're huge lord you're huge Is that us? Okay. You've arrived just in time. The chieftain in red and his men are now looking at a tougher fight than they bargained for. Click and drag around the screen to see your surroundings. Click the check mark to continue. Yeah, we have giants. These portraits show the order of initiative. Those guys are dead. They're dead. Are you on... I doubt you're on our side, but you were just talking about returning home. These portraits show the order of initiative, taking turns from left to right. Your allies are blue, the anime... Oh! Oh, I'm the giants. 
taking turns from left to right. Your allies are blue, the enemy is red, it's your turn to act. Movement happens before action. The ring shows your shield banger is active. The blue tiles around him show where he can move. Some characters fill more tiles than others. The horned allies are a race of giants called Varl, who take up four tiles each, while humans fill a single tile. This can have a huge impact on your strategy. It probably would. Click the tile you want to move to, then click the check mark to confirm. Move your shield banger there to get him within attack range. Sounds good to me. Oh, that check mark. Okay. I had my mouse over it. To target an enemy, click the tile on which they stand. Ally tiles are blue, the enemies are red. Target this enemy now by clicking his tile. Can you, you can either attack the enemy's strength or break his armor. The numbers beneath each icon show the damage you'll do to that stat. Strength counts as both health and damage. A loss of two strengths means you'll do two less damage. If strength falls to zero, the character falls in battle. Interesting. So you don't, you can't. Trying to kill something on your last bit of health is not the best of moves most of the time. Gotcha. Armor blocks strength damage, but can be reduced by a break attack. By attack breaking armor, you open them up to take more damage in the future. So that's how much armor that he has all together, and that's I only attack him once, right? This enemy has only five strength remaining. A strength attack will kill him. Click the fist now to attack his strength and confirm your choice. He's down. Each time you make a kill, your renown grows, which is usually to improve your character. So it's XP. After taking it. Turns always alternate, even if you are outnumbered. Interesting. Despite being at full strength, the chieftain will do little damage against your shield banger's high armor. Now it's wa your warhawk's turn. He appears to be out of range of these enemies, but not. But all characters can use willpower to boost their actions. Willpower is a limited resource, so use it wisely. Oh, okay, so one willpower per gold tile. Can do. Let's do it. Standard attacks only if it... Warhawk has a special ability to give him a unique... Oh, okay. Okay, so we're using Tempest, right? Hit him. Both are dead. That may quite work up the chieftain's bodyguards when there's only one enemy left. Players enter pillage mode. During pillage, each character moves in order and there are no more guaranteed turns. Check the initiative to see how the order has changed. Okay. Your allies get to move twice in a row. A character does not move on his turn. The chieftain will rest this turn. Oh, Q. Number of stars available. Okay, I understand now. Dead. Victory. The foe's lying dead at your feet. I didn't get to read that. Lots of renown. I think. Like a rabid wolf, that one. How did it come to this? We fool ourselves believing that peace will last. My Beautiful grandfather built all animation. this from a poor fishing village, you know. He watched the gods die. Watched the chaos that followed. Watched man and bar slaughter each other. Even before the dreads arose. 
All we've done is traded one struggle for another. Now that there are no more threats to war against, we war against ourselves. This chieftain meant to kill me, and he's not the first. A dozen families in the city would gladly take my chair. This one had men waylaying merchants, both north and south of the city, strangling trade quite well, I would add. Though he denied it to Your his voice. Time. This sort of wolf doesn't stop biting because the head is cut off. It just grows a new head. Your voice is very familiar, my friend. I am in a bad way, my friend. Help me finish this fight and I'll gladly send you on your way with Doppler King's tithe. Take any men you need. They're loyal. I promise you that. They will meet you down in the proving grounds. Beautiful game so far. That was the main thing everyone was saying. Chapter 1. Only the sun has stopped. Huh. Clansman. Okay. You're approached by a familiar man who walks in step with you as you're leaving the Great Hall. He cuts to the chase. Eric Stewart of Strand. I manage the governor's business. Uben, isn't it? It is. I'm just here for the tithe. What do you want? I feel no need to be a dick to this man. And they're not static images either. Good. The governor tells me you'll be giving us a hand. I totally agree. If this guy's a nice man, and we've been allies for a long time, I don't feel a need to watch the entire system grumble. It'd be more stable to keep things as they are, and there doesn't seem to be any sense of just... I agree, so three is out of that. Seems a bit chaotic around here, Eric. What did you have in mind? Scal things that you didn't hack up in the Great Hall scattered after you took out their chieftain. The governor just wants to make sure they stay down. Was hoping you'd join me at the marketplace by the docks. If there's anyone left to worry about. I know who can tell us. Alright. Am I moving? I'm confused. Days of supplies. Great morale. Renown. Options. Days. Okay. I'm very confused. I see these guys. Am I waiting for... Oh! I can click on different parts. Okay, I was like, what? Am I waiting for these guys? Well, obviously we're supposed to go there. Let me handle this. You meander through rows of open-faced houses and eroded stalls. Colored canvases flap in a blurry current. One man in particular blanches you as you approach. Had I'm not in the mood today. I'll just do the Jarl Balgriff voice. For... for what? Talking to an idiot. The Scaffling's chieftain bled out about an hour ago, Had. So when you tell me what rat anus the rest of them crawl back into, nobody's gonna try to kill you this time. I don't talk to... They don't talk to me. I had a change of heart. I hope you do give us a hard time. Hod sweats visibly, fumbling with some dirty trinkets in his table. Wait, just buy one of these. If so everybody thinks I'm getting worked out, worked over every week, how am I supposed to know m much? Just a little food money, yeah? Hmm. 
I'm gonna be a dick. Intimidate him. You motion to Ganoff, your enormous bodyguard, who looms over the man like a snake over a mouse. Gods, Eric! Lying it on a bit heavy, don't you think? Where are the scafflings? Nobleman, up by East Wall. But that was months ago, last I know. Hyde skulked away with a wave of Eric's hand, gathering things from his hovel, disappearing for a while until this blows over, you figure. Your bodyguard steps forward. Are we done here? Genef, were you wearing green back at the Great Hall? No, just bottom when you were walking around. Why? I think they look good. I'm glad you care. Genef goes to look at more stalls. Eric, that man of yours seems unreliable at best. A blind dog wouldn't trust Hod, but he used to be scalping. If there's licking their wounds, they've probably gone to old haunts, not new ones. Nobleman? Is a meat hall? Best I can tell, the name's ironic. Listen, I know a guy who would love to put a few of these scowls in the ground. I'm gonna find him. I'll meet you there. I like the amount of choice I have here, and they're not just like always be a dick choices like I'm unsure of what to do half the time either shouldn't we have an approach of some sort where is this place again after this I'm done here I'm not I'll help we've been old friends I think shouldn't we have an approach of some sort what a luxury come on you've already mopped up worse today just make sure the governor remembers his promise Double the usual tithe. I'll remember- I'll remind him. Okay. Now what? Where am I going? One of these is the correct way to go. Ah! Aha! You arrive in front of what must be a nobleman. A few minutes later, Eirik appears with a weather-beaten man introduced as Valgard. I'll point them out, Eric says over his shoulder. Ready? Hmm. Let's get it over with. If you're walking through the front door, I'd rather sit this one out. Let's get it over with. I'm a giant, and he just said that I wouldn't. it wouldn't matter. That's the spirit, says Valgard. Okay, here we go. Valgard boots the open door open so hard it won't close again without repair. As you enter the hall, Eric is already at the head of a table, his axe drawn. Wide-eyed, drunken scalfings scramble to find their own weapons, turning tables and mead steins in the process. Fight time! Loading. Oh. It's a whole lot of people, actually. Okay, what have I got here? Shield wall adds one armored allies and himself while adjacent to the ally. Blocks three damage per hit, one round. Light step, the landsman can move through allies. Gives three wall power to an ally at any range. That's nifty. Return the favor, getting hit triggers a counterattack for one armor damage. Heavy impact, enemies adjacent to the target take one strength damage. Normal strength damage to two adjacent enemies. Ready! How come you don't fight? Say somebody alternated. Say just end the turn. Somebody goes forward. Everyone move forward. End turn. 
Okay. I have to double click things. You go here. And you. I can't hit him. I can't? Oh, I can only attack in the cardinal directions and turn. Everyone move forward. Everyone end turn. I wish there was a defend option. Oh! Wait, whose turn is it? Okay. Rest, move, stone wall, attack. Ooh, you're getting teamed up by this. Move to here. And then that's one down. Hit him. That one's gone. Everyone's how much does he have left again? Oh, he has 10, 15 strength. Tempest time! Okay, Vow God. Say, we'll move here, that way it isn't... Let's use some of that willpower. Didn't kill him. Say that should be enough for him, right? No? Shit. Okay. I'm definitely n very new to this. That one's gone. Okay, you get to do a Tempest again. Attack him. That one's gone. I'm worried I'm gonna lose him. Gone. Right? No? Okay. You have only four strength. You keep doing Tempest. Say so we will barely survive by the end of this. So which one has the most 
This one. We we'll use some willpower. That one's gone. Okay. Just finish him. Oh, I keep thinking I can do more than that. That ought to hurt. Oh! I just lost him. That's not good. I hope it's not permanent. I hope he's not dead. Because that would really blow. We're almost done. Start playing for keeps. Village mode, activate. Everyone's dead. Do I at least get my man back? Temper by gun off. Get my renown. A lot of renown. He's not dead, right? There they are. Gods be damned. I've got to go wash off this blood. Eric is looking out the hall's windows into the bay. A fleet of longships approach with sails of bold reds and blues. One banner I know well, Vognir. Next for Varl kingship last we spoke. The other flag looks important. Yeah, important guess. See what I deal with all day long? Ah, things make a little more sense. You hoped to have a stake in saying everything's fine here when the royal guests arrived. Not me, the governor. Now I have to make sure there are no rotten bodies or pools of entrails still in the great hall before they come by. Can I ask one more favor? What is it? If you happen to stall our guests down the docks, I wouldn't object. Maybe I will. Eric and Valgard hustle from the mead house. To his credit, Eric tosses the barkeep a spar of silver for the mess. You give an apologetic shrug and go to greet the new arrivals down at the docks. Oh. Now I get to promote, right? How do I do that? How do I promote? Hmm. Let's go to the docks. Wagner. A familiar Varl steps onto the docks. In your mind, you recall a much younger version tramping the halls of Grofheim, abundant in purpose. Gods, Uben, you're looking ancient. Comes with being old. And if there's Wagner here, there must be a Haken. Must be where? Must there. Still bleeding tributes from the poor and stupid old yaks. At what age do you lose a sense of shame? Hrondor demands it. I'll take that over linging to death to Grolfheim. Speaking of, I had no sense that you were so far from home. Just returned from a 
Aberang, in fact. And glad for it. Hawking motions to the other ships in the bay, sails still fluttering, golden wolf head emblazoned on red. The king of men, or someone on his behalf. The king's whelp. The king's son, Ludin. Don't you know, Scrivener? We visit his capital. He visits ours. It's how you make alliances these days. It's a miserable waste of time. Yes, Hakan has it. I'd almost forgotten. It's a good thing you're around, Hakan. Then you're going to Grofheim. I have the distinct feeling I finished my business in Strand and was heading there myself. We should caravan. We should. Give it a day. In better circumstances, I'll drink a week away, but uh, let's just be done. Find me tomorrow at the gates. What he's say trying to say is the prince is a delight to behold. Where's Moger? Hakin, have him find a place to put up the warriors. I'm heading up to meet the governor. A host of giants depart in his wake. You recognize a few. Others are strangers to you. Guess I'm off to find Moger. See you in the morning, Scrivener. I'll be along. The young prince of men ambles from his ship. He brushes off his tunic, scanning the beach with low eyelids. Ludin looks for all the world, the sort of boy who grew up pulling the legs from spiders. The long road back to Grofheim should be more interesting than most years, you think. Weariness suddenly settles in, and you chuckle to yourself about what an odd day it has been. One of the governor's men at the Great Hall could find you a place to sleep. On the other hand, if you're going to join Wagner's caravan tomorrow, it might not hurt to share a drink with Hakin or introduce yourself to the prince they spoke so highly of. Oh, this would be one of those major choices. I want to save, is what I want to do. How do I do that? Very simply, this is the way I save. It's an auto-save. So, returning back to the main menu. So far, I really like this game. It has a really laid-back kind of storytelling vibe to it, and I enjoy any game that focuses more on story. So, if you like me entering the land of Vikings and Giants, hit the like button. And as always, click the nut on the way out.